This is Jordan. Jordan is nine years old. Like many children his age, he enjoys playing soccer, martial arts, and cricket. Though he enjoys an active lifestyle, he faces many challenges in performing even the simplest of tasks. Jordan has Proteus Syndrome. Proteus Syndrome is a rare genetic disorder identified by an uncontrolled growth of bones and other tissues. Common symptoms include an increase in the mass of organs, bones, rough patches, overgrown blood vessels, and formation of blood clots. Proteus does not affect everyone in exactly the same way. Symptoms manifest in all different parts of the person's body. Proteus syndrome is difficult to diagnose because there have only been 100 to 200 documented cases. There is evidence to suggest Proteus is caused by a mutation on the phosphatase and tensin homolog, or PTEN, gene located on chromosome 10. The cause is thought to be a random, dominant, frame shift insertion mutation in the somatic cells. The PTEN gene typically produces the PTEN protein, which is responsible for signaling cells to stop dividing. The mutation changes the protein, so the cells do not know when to stop dividing, resulting in excess growth. The PTEN gene is also responsible for other diseases when mutated, such as Cowden syndrome and Benaya Rila Ruvalcaba syndrome. Together, the diseases caused by a mutated PTEN gene are called the PTEN harmatoma tumor syndromes. The PTEN gene is suspected to be the most frequently mutated gene in prostate cancer and cancer of the uterine lining. However, a malfunctioning PTEN protein only accounts for about 50% of all the Proteus cases. The causes for other cases are unknown, but it is believed to be caused by somatic mosaics. Because the mutation is located in the somatic cells, Proteus syndrome does not run in families. It has also not been found to be more common in certain environments, sexes, or ethnic groups. The quality of life for the patient and their family is completely dependent on the severity and placement of the growths. Other variables that would affect the quality of life would include whether or not they have mental impairments as a result of the tumors, medical costs, the amount of time spent visiting doctors, the affected parts, and the pain the disease could potentially cause. Currently there is no genetic test specifically for patients who could potentially have Proteus syndrome so it is mainly diagnosed by the appearance of the patient. Joseph Merrick is probably the most well-known person to have suffered from this disease. A movie was made about Merrick called The Elephant Man in 1980. When doctors first diagnosed Merrick, they thought he had elephantiasis, another disease causing parts of the body to swell to a huge size. Later, doctors began to think he suffered from neurofibromatosis, a disorder causing tumors to grow on the nervous system. However, modern doctors have examined x-rays and CT scans of Merrick's skeleton and determined that he had Proteus syndrome. This illustrates how rare this disease is and how hard it is to diagnose properly. The only treatment for Proteus is the treatment of the symptoms. Surgery can be done to halt the abnormal growths and regular doctor's visits to monitor the progression of the disease. There have been cases of surgeries on Proteus patients' feet, resulting in the person gaining a fairly normal walk and wear normal shoes. Currently, there are no feasible cures or prospective treatments on the horizon for Proteus. This is a horrible disease that, when cured, will spare many families the emotional trauma of watching their closest relatives suffer with this disease.